Hi guys, my name's Andy Crowley, and in this video I'm giving you a demo and a brief description of how to play each of the songs that are in my Play 10 Songs with Two Chord series. Those two chords that we'll be using are just the E major and A major, which I advise we play like this so that we can change between the E and the A without lifting our first finger off. But of course you can play it the more traditional way three fingers in a line, or even with fingers two, three, and four like this. But as I say, the lesson that this is derived from, you will see by clicking the link in the top corner, and you will also find full tutorials for every one of these songs that I'm gonna be uh, demoing now, uh, already uploaded, already on YouTube. But every Friday for the next few weeks, I'm gonna be refilming and uploading uh, new, higher quality versions of each of those tutorials. But let me show you which songs we're going for. So song one, as I'm sure you're all well aware, is for what it's worth by Buffalo Springfield. And we begin with just one strum of each of the chords E, 2, 3, 4, A and then we just strum on the beat uh, four strums for each chord so a bar of each chord like so 3, 4 There's something happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop children What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down And then after the chorus we just do one strum again Single strum of E Single strum of A and the song repeats from there. With that one, we do have a full play along of, of that song because it's been so popular. But I'm gonna get straight on to the second song now, which is Silence Is Easy. And that's very similar, um, but we have each chord for two bars this time, and we introduce something called eight strumming. So that is where we strum eight times. One and two and three and four and for each bar. So this will be two bars of the E. You could also strum it on the beat, but I'm gonna demo the full version now, and it goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, then A. And it continues like that for the whole song. Three, four. Everybody says that she's looking for shelter. Got a lot to give, but I don't know how to help her. I should just let it go Till they learn how to grow And how to liberate Silence is easy It just becomes me You don't even know me oh, So why lie about me? song just repeats that chord sequence for the whole thing. Fantastic if you want to get playing along to the record because the drums are so clear in that one. Um, but this next one, number three, is going to be much more well known for most of you. This is three is a magic number. Um, in this one it's still just two chords, just the E and then the A major. But we strum each chord twice on the beat, so it's a quicker change this one, but it's fun to have a sing along to, and uh, it goes like this. E, E, A, A, and just repeats like this. Three is a magic number. Yes it is, it's a magic number. Somewhere in the ancient mystic trinity They made three A magic number 
And the whole song just continues from there, really drilling that change. This whole level one of my beginners course is about drilling the change between these two chords to really get all the best habits, to create good habits, and to, you know, figure out things like playing along to the record and keeping time just with the two easiest chords on guitar. So that's the idea of it. The next song is uh, the easiest Ed Sheeran song that we can possibly play. Now to do it, ideally, we need a capo at second fret. Um, so the idea would be, get a capo, stick it at second fret, and then our E chord sounds higher. And the only reason, but the best reason to get a capo, is so that you can play more songs with the same easy chords. Now we have capos available through the links in, in the description and on my website for as little as a couple of dollars. So there's really no excuse not to get one of these things. This one's a little more expensive, it's a little bit flash, just uh, making sure the idea of spending a bit more money on a capo is so the guitar doesn't sound too out of tune, especially when you're recording a video that hopefully a few people are going to see. But uh, just for home practice, the cheaper ones are totally fine. And um, this song goes like this. It's called You and I. You and I ended over you and I. And I said that's fine, but you're the only one who knows I lied. You and I ended over you and I. And I said that's fine, but you're the only one who knows I lied. So, showing you how to not have to use a pick on that one as well and get this little tapping technique, but still just with two easy chords, the E and the A. The next one is a big favourite of mine and uh, it was a good favourite of my dad's as well. This is Achy Breaky Heart by uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. This one starts on the A chord, but still just alternates between the A and the E chord, and it goes. Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart I just don't think he'd understand Cause if you break my heart, my achy breaky heart He might blow up and kill this man One more time Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart I just don't think he'd understand You can see that change there Cause if you break my heart, my achy breaky heart he might blow up and kill this man And all the verses and guitar solo and things It just loops that same thing Again, to, re to get all the tutorials for every song that I'm talking you through here Links in the top corner and in the description And the best place to get all the uh, chord sequences and chord lyric sheets Totally free is on my website These are all level one of the beginner's course, the online version. The next one is uh, a new upload. I, I believe I'm going to be uploading this today. Um, this is Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Now this one's a bit of a cheat. I will hold my hands up. There is a third chord in this song and we're only going to play it for two. But when I demo it now, you'll see exactly what we're going for and the full three chord version and to learn the riff to Satisfaction that is all on the website and the guitar Satisfaction. If You'll find it on YouTube. It's all up there for free. But to demo the easy two chord version, we start off with the E major chord, and we go. I can get no satisfaction. I can get no satisfaction. But I try, and I try, and I try. And I try, I can't get no, I can't get no. Whole song can be played just with those two chords, the E and the A. It varies when it's from a one bar of E and A and then goes to two bars of each chord. But um, as I say, the tutorial, which should be uploaded by now if I get my scheduling correct, is, uh, is online now, as is the full tutorial to be able to play the riff. <laughs> That little riff there. 
Next one uh, is a Beatles song. We couldn't really have a selection of 10 beginner songs without getting a Beatles one in there. Um, this one, again, ideally we need a capo, but you don't need a capo just to have a play and kind of sing along for yourself or just to practice it. The capo is to keep it in tune with the original record so you can play along to the track. But this one just changes from E, 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 E. That's it for the vast majority of the song. It goes, love, love me do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. So please, love me do. Love me do. Okie dokie. So again, that I think that's my best song to give you guys to play and sing along. Like love, love me do. It's nice and a good range for most people, and um, everything's kind of happening at the same time. The words and the strumming. So rhythmically, it is pretty cool. Um, this next song, we're going to keep the capo at third fret. And this is Never Can Tell by Chuck Berry. So we'll leave the lead line for uh, its own tutorial. Again, the, the link's in the top corner or in the description to find the full tutorial for this song. But we're gonna go from the A and the E chord. One, two, three. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. You could see that the air did truly love the Mamrazelle. There's the change to the E chord. And now the young Monsieur and Madame, they're on the chapel bell. C'est la vie, say the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. And you could get some down and up strumming in there, but that's the simple version, which is what all of these are about. And imagine just knowing two chords and you can get 10 songs under your belt pretty easily. Like that seems like something I would think total beginners want to do, especially when you're unsure of how all this uh, kind of fits together and works. So the last two are by U2. The first one was a song that U2 did. So this is uh, song number nine. This is a song that U2 did with B.B. King, who's one of the uh, most famous blues guitarists ever. Again, no capo needed, and it just changes between the E and the A chord. This is When Love Comes to Town. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I was a sailor, I was lost at sea. Under the waves before love rescued me. I was a fighter, I could turn on a threat. I stand accused of the things I've said. When love comes to town, I'm gonna catch that train. When love comes to town, I'm gonna catch that train. Okie dokie, that was just a quick demo of that song. And you can see most of it is based around this riff. And we're not having to strum on the beat, so this one's fantastic to play along to the record because you've got nice loud drums and you can hear that those strums of the chords really clearly so that you can join in. Fantastic one to have a go at, uh, especially for electric guitarists. So all of these are appropriate for electric guitar really, but there you can crank up the, uh, the overdrive on your sound as you can with this final one. This is Elevation by U2 and we have two chords and a little riff. Main riff can totally play this on acoustic guitar, but it is better for the electric guitarist to be able to use the overdrive on your amplifier. It goes like this. That's the main riff, and then we have this little verse section. That repeats for the verse. And then we go back to the main chords.
finishing it on some big open chords there um, for, for a bit of a, a rockier two choices for the last ones. Now, do you need to do all 10 to pass level one of my beginner's course? No, what I really recommend is you choose three. You choose your three favorites from each level and typically that should be enough to be able to um, get all the skills you need to have no problems at all at the next level up. So if you do three of these songs, you should be all right to move on to level two and it will be a nice smooth journey for you to progress in this course, as it should be at each level. Now, when you're progressing up to levels four, five, six, and the last one of the beginner's course is level seven, if your journey starts to be a little less smooth than it might have been before, that could be because the song choices you're choosing at each level are all quite similar and you're not getting um, the other skills that you might need from choosing other songs that you just may not be familiar with. So to get my song recommendations and the things that I would be telling each and every one of you if you were in a private lesson with me, um, all that advice and song structure and practice routines are in my beginner's course and that is the uh, purchased version. So you get this as a download, as an ebook, and as a printed book and also um, uh, as a DVD. So all the free lessons that give you like the chords and the strumming patterns, all of that's for free on my site. Check it out. There's a good 50 videos there for free and the rest of them, the one where I'm giving personalized advice to each of you. So say, if you're an acoustic player, I'd choose these three songs. If you're an electric player into rock, and I'd, I'd choose these three songs, for example. All of that kind of advice is in the book where we have the practice routines. We can, I can show you the one for uh, level one here. Practice routine for level one. 20 minutes. This one is for free on the website, so you can check out kind of what, what style it's in and uh, recommended songs there. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. If not, it's, uh, it's on the website for free. Level one, lesson six and seven and plenty of chord sequences as well. So if this looks like it's something for you, check that out or you can just keep going through the song tutorials and see how far you get basically. Um, I really wish each and every one of you all the best with your playing. I am absolutely stoked to be able to provide these lessons for free for you guys and for this now being a YouTube teacher and uh, an online teacher and teaching privately. Um, this is a bit of a dream come true. I never never thought this would be the full-time job, put it that way. So, um, absolute privilege to bring these lessons to you guys. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel and you're still checking things out. Um, you will find much more lessons by subscribing and checking out the, uh, the website, andyguitar.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching, guys. All the best with your guitar playing journey. I'm Andy Crowley. Bye for now.